That yeah. one? Right, right off that tree. Oh, nice job. Yeah. Feel like a nice one? Eh, it feels okay. And that's for ya. Oh, it's a pretty nice one, yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice one. Hey, when I get them, I don't mess around. Nice fish. Hey, this is Walt Matten and Bob Gillespie from Be Fishing Tackle, and we're with our guide, Mac Peroncheck, over here in the Green Bay area, fishing one of the tributaries, and we're going after some post-spawn walleyes. And there we go, it's off to a good start. We'll let this one go. There you go, that's a nice one. Right off the bank there? Yeah, right on the bank. First couple casts. Uh -huh. Are, are these post-spawn or pre-spawn? These are all post-spawn. Oh, nice. That's a nice one, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice post-spawn female there. Now, do they get a little more lethargic this time of year, or? Well, they turn on right now. So right now, they're all post-spawn, so they're really- Oh, look at that soft belly, yeah. Nice, empty belly. But they really get turned on. They just got done spawning. Uh -huh. So now they're putting the feed bag on. Huh. Look at that, he's got the color. So, so what you're saying is after they're spawning, they actually turn on instead of having lockjaw. Yes, they do. They're, they just got done with their job, uh -huh. getting the new babies coming, and now they're turning on the feed bag, trying to get that weight back on them. So now do you think this is another post-spawn female? Yes, it is. Yeah. You're not kidding when you say, like, barely move that bait right yeah. off the bottom. You can barely move that bait, just really slow little hops, and they just, they crack it. Yeah, this one cracked it. it. Not only that, but after your fish with that uh, oyster shell, I switched up colors to an oyster shell pulsar. There you go. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. With a, with a purple hair jig. Yeah. A little double combo there. The hair jig, yeah, that's been around forever, but it's oh, yeah. really making a comeback, not only in the walleye scene, but also in the bass market. Right. It's a little bit of hair in there, a little bit of added color, and still we've got, we put them on these H2O heads, so we've still got the weight of the jig stamped right on there so that you know you're using a 5 8 ounce jig. All right. All right, so I better let her go. Yep. Well, there you go, thank you. What you got, Bob, what you got, Bob? Got a nice, nice one. Keep the pressure on. I don't know how big it is. Ooh, it's a nice one. Got a little darker, Walt, so I put on the new uh, glow, night glow on. Nice. That's our big one for the day. Bring it into the nice. Nice. Hey, yeah. All right. All right. There Nicely we go. done. Nice hey. All right. Woo. Look at that, Walt. He smashed that he thing. He destroyed that one. We were sitting there you got wondering. Any pliers? Yeah. We Look were sitting that. there wondering why they weren't really hitting it Woo. hard. Way down in there. Yep. Got that. Got a bucktail Wayne jig with a big old glow moxie on there. Were you working it hard or were you? No, I just, just slow bouncing it off the bottom. Well, she's ready to go. Thank you. Let's take a look at some of the jigs and plastic that we've been using to catch the fish out here in the Green Bay area, which actually you can use in any river, stream, it's got walleyes where you live. We've got our, our regular ringworm, which kind of started it all. It's got a big twister tail and it's got a ringed body. That's the name wing, ringworm. So a lot of guys were asking for a little more bulked up ringworm. So that's when we came up with the Moxie, which has got a giant tail, big beefy body, and uh, it's got a lot of action. Basically, if there's any current at all, that tail's gonna be wagging. Then we've got the Pulsar, which is, which is a great bait also. A little bit different action because it's got a high-speed paddle tail, which also really vibrates in, in a little bit of current. Then we've got for a little bit more timid fish, let's just say, a little fork tail version of, of this called the rib fin. So we've got three different styles for aggressive, less aggressive, and, and least aggressive fish, but plus we've got the ringworm. We load them up on our H2O jig heads. They're nice, they've got the weight stamp right on the bottom. We've also been using the Bucktail Wayne jigs, which is used, it has the H2O head with a bucktail body. Those you can dress with plastic or you can just fish them as is. And then we've got the B3 blade bait, which has got a high speed action, really great in colder water. Right off that little wing dam, like he said. What's nice when you hire a guide like Max, if you could actually make a cast, like luckily I could, it tells you exactly where to make them because he's—I mean, we've been—he's been out here fishing for most of his young life. Look at there that! That's the same one. It's the same one, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's All your right. fish there. Nice. nice one. Another one on the rip fin. There you go. Yep. That's a female. Yeah. Huh. Nice fish. All right. I'll let you let him go since you got the slimy hands. Us professionals want to keep our hands clean, so we usually let 
we let the guides uh, release some fish. Got a good one, Max? Oh yeah, this feels like a really nice one. Oh yeah, I just saw the gold. Were you working it pretty aggressively or just, just no, slowly? Just barely moving it. Yeah, barely I moving it. Along with that storm front, if they kind of shut down a little bit, so they want it really slow. Oh, double up. Double up. Oh my, look at the size of this one. Oh, that's a, that's a tanker right there. Well, that's going to be hard to top. No. Oh, how about that? How about that maneuver? Wow, <laughs> what a net job that was. <laughs> How about that? Luckily, we had the long handled net. Here's what's interesting I mean, totally different colors, but they're both bright. We got a glow, and then we've got a chartreuse pepper, purple head. So, hey, I'd say with, with two fine fish like this, and well, and a great net job of to course. boot, I think that's a good way to end the day, huh? Yep, we couldn't have done it without me. So, hey, <laughs> want to fish this area for some big walleye, smallmouth bass? AlexanderSportFishing.com. And also on the web, check us out, BeFishingTackle.com. Until next time, this is Walt and Bob with our new buddy Max. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.